I'm just bumming around But it needn't be too I got my bag on my shoulder But it needn't be too I'm just bumming around Did it need to be too Did it need to be too I thought I'd better explain to you, you've got a, a document for the BBC, you've got to sign because of all this, the circus that's going on, right? Mm -hmm. But what I wanted to talk to you about, more importantly than that, was this business of the effect of all this on you. Oh, I don't mind it. Is it disturbing you, I mean? No. No? No, we don't. Because at the moment, it's bloody marvellous. You think you're Robert Redford, you're involved in all this camera work and God knows what. And at some stage or another, these lads are going to fold their tents and steal away to London. Finished. And the anticlimax is going to hit you. You understand the risks involved? Yeah. You sure? Yes, very sure, sir. You are inclined to fall on your ass. Mm -hmm. Now, if you don't feel, if you feel that there's any snags, for God's sake, now's the time to talk. Oh, if, if it's going to help people, like it. Are you sure? Yeah, I mean, it's, it's going to help a lot of people. It'll show what I've been through. Well, that's, that's, that sounds nice, but this is genuine, is it? Yeah. You, you're really making an effort. Not, you're not wallowing in this, you know, no, just no. for you. I mean, if I can help, if I can help other people, Yeah. and I, my parents know, uh, I can see now that I'm trying to uh, get somewhere. Yeah. I'm trying to, you know, try yeah. to make it, and try to show other people what it's like to go through with a drink. Yeah. I wouldn't like to see nobody else go through it. Okay, no fine. Way. Just a job. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> When he goes out, the chances are he's going to be a helpless wreck within probably 48 hours. Just because he finds it very, very difficult, almost impossible, to pass a pub or pass up any opportunity to take it. And it makes our problem of trying to help him, of course, that much more difficult. I was looking at his link records. He's done, what, 40 offences as an adult. That's right. Nearly everyone is next to nothing. And he goes out of here. And he makes all the promises in the world. He wants to do this. He wants to go there. He's been into hospital. He's dried out. And what does he do? He goes out through the gate, and it all collapses in a heap within 48 hours. That's right. So I don't know what the hell we can do. You see, what value can we put on Percy's word? Well, we can't. I mean, he insists every time that this is the, the last time, yeah. and everybody bends over backwards to get him here, there, and he gets through the door. Half a dozen of the yeah. boys are waiting, mm -hmm. they can smell the discharge grant and it's off to the nearest winery and bingo. Yeah, it's true enough. They start all over again. Two more, two more. Come on. One more, come on, last one. Come on, I'm going to come on. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, my problem is what he's going to do when he goes out, you see. He's going to be asking for all kinds of help again, and it's difficult to know what he's going to happen. Come on, no good. Give it a touch, don't you? Just go on, go on. The first time he's got to do something about keeping off the drink, because otherwise there's no hope of continuing this. So. Can you bring him across to my office if I get him a thank you?
seven. Come in. Mr. Miller, I've got folks for you. Oh, thanks very much. Great. Come in, Bertie. Have a seat, Dawson. Thank you. This drink problem. You've had it for a very long time. You've made 30-odd court appearances over 15, 20 years. Almost every offence related to alcohol. You really want to give up drink, Bertie? Yeah. Because I, the past now, as you say, 15 years I've spent here, back and forth to prison. Just some drink. Yeah. I wouldn't do it when I was sober. Yeah, yeah. You're very I, vulnerable, I, aren't you? But you see, I can't walk down the street. If there's an off license shop in the street, I'm drawn to that. Mm. I mean, sorry mm. to say, oh, you've got to help yourself. But I, it's like a magnet to me. Mm. I've lost my, my wife, children, self respect. Plus. And always with the same result that you end up here. Yeah. And when you're here, you get fit, you're articulate, you're a nice guy, and you go out, and before long you're little more than a shambling flaming wreck. Right, Am I yeah. right? And that's what we've got to try and do something about. Do you want to do something about yeah. it? Yeah. There's a hostel, not only here in Cardiff, one in, uh, in Mid Glamorgan, one in Gwent all of whom are equipped and ready to try and help anybody who desperately wants to give up drink. It's a dry hostel. I've had two of them before, you know what I mean? I mean, it's just... That's all the subject is, is drink. Yeah. You've got one, one or two who come back drunk, and I want a drink. I see them drunk. I want a drink. Mm. And I'll get it. Incidentally, I was at the club uh, up in the Valley last Sunday and they were making a presentation to your dad. Oh, right. For Bowles, is it? What's he? Yeah, Judge Parkin Bowles. Yeah. Do you see him often there? No. Yeah. Oh, good. Yeah. Fine. Laugh always about it, isn't it? Oh, yeah. Anyway, I tried to get up there once or twice if I can in a month to see the old fella. You know, yeah. to see what it's like. Never change up there. Perks, you're going out Friday morning, aren't you? Yes, sir. Just clear up one or two little points. When you went out in May, you asked us to discharge you a little later than the main bunch because you were afraid that your, your mates would be waiting for you, knowing you're coming out to share your discharge ground and go and have a few beers. I'd like to stay on for a while now, sir. Oh, well, something like that. We keep an eye on if they're out there, we'll wait until they disappear and then we'll, we'll put you through then, OK? Sir. If you keep on going out and giving it this, you're going to end up with a, a wet brain. And mm -hmm. You know, it'll end up, you won't be coming back into Cardiff where you're very comfortable and everybody knows you and, you know, uh -huh. everybody likes you, really. But at the end of the day, you're not doing yourself any good. So right. try and use your loaf now. Use, your, use a bit of that, all right? Yes, sir. Anyway, I'll see you before Friday. OK? Thank you, sir. So, and it's Friday he's out, is it? Friday morning, yeah. How long will he be before he's back on the booze? Well, it's all down to him. We've done all we can, haven't we? Really? Anyway, we're going to the remand centre now. Okay, right. sir. Yeah. What's that handle done, Snap Tex, and put that fag out? What was that sheep, male or female? <laughs> really, I don't, I don't know what he was. He kept me warm. I've been a gone on. It's the only thing I can get my warmth off. Feet is frozen, hands. I come down into the town, eh? Walking down that thorn, I up to my waist. Pretty doing the off as soon as I go down, there's only one, oh, one open, eh? Then went to this derrick building, eh? Getting a bit old for that now, wasn't it? Yeah. Uh, I've been thinking of settling down, but uh, you've got to, you know, you got to the money, you know. Mm -hmm. You just can't go out there and move into somebody's house. Yeah, for a job for us, I said. Main thing today, you know. All them people are at work. Mm -hmm. No more chance of getting any money. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. If I didn't drink shit, I could earn, I could about six hundred pounds before twelve o'clock. What do you have to do for that, then? Eh? Chocolate, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. No, drink's no good now, is it? Yeah. That's the reason why I'm here. Yeah. Mm. Uh, oh, I had to tell him my life, Ed. Oh, I can imagine. Nobody wants to know, you know what I mean? It's 
Especially if you get older, eh? It's not so bad when you're young, is it? You know, when you're younger. Ah, but people don't want to know you're a young man. And when you're trying to give, you're trying to give it up, you can't. Yeah. I mean, it's like a ghost. It's with you for the rest of your life. Yeah. I've tried. Do you touch on maths, or don't touch on maths? Huh? Yeah. I could have said something. Whiskey, rum, cider, wine. Hmm. Our wine, white wine's all right. Is it? Two or three bottles of that. Mm. You know where you're going to wake up? Uh, to the trouble. Three cells, under an edge, in the river, anywhere. Yeah. Mm. Oh, yeah. Have you tried this Alcoholics Anonymous? No. Uh, and I haven't been near them. I mean, uh, I'd feel ashamed to go near them. This is why I drink a back alley most of the time, you know what I mean? Other people to see you. When you're walking down the road, you're dirty, you're unwashed in days. Yeah. I'm shaven. Yeah. How do you manage for money when you're on the road then? It's cost us a few, isn't it? Mm. They give you £2.45 a day, but that's not good. You've got to go shoplifting, isn't it? Stealing. Mm. Mm. You can't get no work, see? Well, you've got time for that every day, you're going to pick it up. Yeah. Then. Ah, you wait there, see? Mm. Sometimes they make you wait until three o'clock. Yeah. And they give you about £7 for the weekend, £8, pounds, something like that. Yeah. Well, that's gone. Two hours out of the social security has gone. Do you get any trouble getting that? You don't get no trouble getting Sometimes, that. Sometimes, yeah. Huh? Tell him you've got fleas, see? <laughs> they check the world quicker. <laughs> you know what I mean? They get the gyro through quicker and the thing about. Uh, you got to do it. <laughs> uh, and I give you the pen back. <laughs> Look, Governor, what's this here? Is there anything at all you're not clear about, anything at all you wish to ask me before you release tomorrow morning? Everything's all quite clear. Yeah. Absolutely clear. Yeah. Right, good luck to you, what you want. Next. When you get out, I'm, I mean, around to the family, like, you know what I mean? Uh, give all of them my like, regards, you know what I mean? Yeah. And my love, but I won't be long tell them, I won't be short behind you. I mean, the nuisance value, as far as being a danger to the public, I mean, <laughs> There's no, that doesn't that question doesn't arise at all. You know what the fool did last time, do you? I heard With something. I'm not bottles. fully aware of what happened. Well, it appears now they've gone on to some form of exotic living. The urban poachers. What they're doing, and Perksy is one of the ringleaders. Is they're going down the terrace streets at the back here, and they wait until about six o'clock in the morning, just before the milkman comes, and they nip around and they put little slips in the bottles, and they say two extra pints, please. And the milkman leaves the two extra pints. As soon as he's gone round the corner, they whip the two <coughs> pints in there away. And of course, nobody finds out until the poor bloke pays the milkman at the end of the week. Well, the reason they got caught on it was because some of them got exotic and started ordering yogurts as well. <laughs> the yogurts go well with the roast duck. You I was see, just going to say. They steal from the park, yeah. Says the yogurts must have gone down in the last few months. Yeah. One of the things he might do, of course, is hit the road when he gets out of here. Um, because you know what he does, he, he goes up for the potato picking or he... Uh, yeah, you know, yeah. I tried to persuade him to go, you know, picking grapes in the south of France, but he won't, he's too much of a home bird. He's still got some family ties, hasn't he, and I think... Aye. Inside this wall is freedom for perks. Yeah. Outside is imprisonment, because that's where the pressures of society exist. And, in a way, well, he proves it himself. The man works here. He's, he, I mean, he's a supernumerary member of staff, oh, isn't he? Of course he is. Yeah. So what the hell are we going to do with him? Other than put him out through the gate, wish him well, and ask him if he'd like to bring a friend with him when he comes back so that it boost the business a little bit. Tomorrow I might walk up through the fields. Get, see the a bit fresh air, get the fresh air, see a bit of freedom, huh? Mm. Yeah. I gotta go and pick this horse up. 
Yeah? See, you know what I mean? What are you going to do with it? I think it's for the daughter. Oh, Christ, that's nice. Yeah. And the first me going to pick an horse up, the first time I ever done time was a pinching two collie horses, you know what I mean? Never. Yeah, pinching from the pit. Perks for the governor. Perks, governor. It's you, brother. All the best. Take care. Perks, governor. Jack. Bernard, well now this is the, the end of the sentence. I gather you've told Mr. Jones, the probation officer, that you're going to uh, go up to Mum's at Landaff in the hope of persuading Dan to let you stay there. Mm -hmm. Great. If he does, marvellous. What if he doesn't? Well, I'll have to find some other accommodation. Right. Right. Well, now, Mr. Jones himself is prepared to find you a bed sit. I know you don't like that idea, but it'll be for a couple of days. He then help you try and find a flat. Um, and with any luck, it'll be something that you want. But you've got to go and see him. He has asked you to call and see him, and I've written it down on there on Monday morning. Mm -hmm. Now, whatever happens, don't forget that you are an alcoholic. One drink, whether it's with any of your mates on your own, and you've had it. You've yes, got yeah. to keep dry, otherwise you're going to be back in here, and we're going to go the whole thing again, and it's not going to do you any good whatsoever. Yes. All right? Yes. All the best, Bern. Look after yourself, and um, don't forget what I told you. Yeah. Best of luck. Bye-bye now. Bye-bye. And you are? Perks, sir. And your number? A94526. Okay, Perks. Good luck. Thank you, sir. Wait a minute now, wait a minute now. No, no, I don't want to. My daughter's going to be no failure this morning. You've got them to worry, will you? You know what I mean? Yeah. Let's take a phone then. Huh? Let's go there. Are you drunk now, Mark? You know what I mean? It's just not a good thing, is it? You know what I mean? Yeah. Uh, My daughter could have been by you this morning. Listen, listen, listen to me. These people will help us because the prison, no good. Oh, don't worry. Alcoholic, they never help us. They've helped me, don't they? Okay. New clothes, the lots. Okay. Okay. But when you brought in two girls over here this morning, my daughter could have been here meeting me. They don't help me when I come to jail. They don't help me. No, 30 years. 30 years in jail. 30 years. Ah, 30 years drunk. Come on, let's go for a walk. Maybe. I'll go maybe. Come on. Come on. Come on. Suicide. Yeah. Suicide. You're too daft to commit pass at suicide. Oh, sure. I'm not. I'm never my life. Huh? Never a skit. It's just right. Ah. Do you want another roll up or what? Dugging? I saw like a dugging. You got party bread. How can I give it a drink with you about, eh? Huh? Let me get a few bottles for me, it'll be all right. Mm. I'll shoot up, then. You shoot enough? Well, you're yes, not getting nothing if you shoot enough. No, we come with me. What's the matter with them? Because if you don't have them, you freeze to death. Right? It's all right. Pinch them. Pinch them? All right, pinch them. Oh. I'll just back. come out of the neck, now we're going to go back. Oh. Yes. You're going to want to put a black on first? No. No? Pay black. Black and no good. Black and no good. Huh? Black and no good. No. You never know. Make a whole house now, you never know, along the route. Whole house? Yes. Maybe something in there. Was you born in house then? I don't think he was born in house, did you? I never born in house. Born in no. edge. Born in edge. Remember when Arthur and Edgy was born in edge? That's right. Natter, 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 natter. That's all it is with you. Natter, natter, natter. What's the word? I'll get you a few cans of beer now on a bottle. But now you know yourself. No, no you don't. Have. No, it's rubbish. Do what's, do what's fine. <laughs>
Get up over your ass, come on. I ain't got money, this is it. Pretending money, get over your ass, come on. Come on, get up. Don't tell me, you know, that's pretty, pretty funny. That's fucking over two fucking. Yeah, yeah. Texas, is it? I was a guy, I wouldn't. One fucking person. Yeah. How do you say? Turn around, I'll get up here, come on. Well, I think so. Tell us a fact, man. Don't call me. Don't call me. Listen to me now! Fucking head! Listen! Fucking head! I'm gonna fucking hit! Metal! Stop swearing. <laughs> <laughs> 
You don't allow it here. That's why the charge can I pay me or something. You don't need the shop otherwise. He's paying for all your gear. He's paying for all your gear. I'm not concerned about that. <laughs> Just put them on your feet. Look, you're that drunk you can't even put your stuff on. Huh? What? You bet you. You couldn't find my grandmother. Get her on you. Come on, hurry up. Hurry up and leave the shop. Come on, put that sock on. And out. Come on, get out. Get down here. Sir, I don't want you about it. It's like the fucking death. That's all you So where are we going to go from here? I show old skipper. Good skipper. Good skipper. Like rough concrete. Good skipper. Good on, right? <coughs> good skipper. Good skipper. Alright? Listen to me, Bernard, right? He's a good skipper. Don't worry about the bodies and the police all down this all the time. But dodge him. That, them, them things. Hey, I heard when he is in jail that he, he died, Philip. No, no, Philip is not dead. Come in. He's better than nothing. Well, what do you want? Diamonds. We got no diamonds ever. We just bums. No, no. Don't talk that. Will you? Who's talking that? Me or you? We don't know Trump at all. Trump? We are elite. Because them people out there don't know nothing about what's going on. Listen, you know yourself, right? I never leave you, right? Right? You're dead. He can't. We're we'll brothers, not, not brothers. Brothers, be him here. Be him all them brothers. We just. Just good old mates and. Yes. Well, brothers, brothers, isn't it? Brothers. Like, we, we've roughed it together over the years. I never did, John. If anybody trusts you now, what? I put a bottle in his fucking head. You got no chance of seeing this shit. Because any man who put a bottle over my head, they got to be good. Listen to me, right? Very good. Very good this way, right? Very good this way. Listen to me now. Where are you going from here? Right. I'm a skipper, right? I'm a skipper. Are you coming with me or what? Are you coming? Get this done. Get this done. Go on. Get this done. Get it done. We fuck up the other road. Go on. Get it done. Get it down. Get it down. Come on. Get it done. Oh, you fuck up. That's bad. That's bad. Come on. Get it done. I know you're a good skipper. Come on. Get this down there. I put it down. You're going to Chess is bad. Why is it bad? We're going to skip it now, right? Let's skip it now, right? I'm a skipper. I'm fucking good skipper. Congress did. Some football. Dodgy football. Dodgy, dodgy football. Right? Don't worry about that. Trust me. Listen to me now, right? Listen to me. Hey, come on, you are. Come on, come on. Yeah, have a drink. Have a drink. Right? Listen, listen. Listen to me. Listen to me. Hey, come on, this woman. Come on. You go, man. You go. Come on. 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 Come on, are you coming or what? Are you coming? Are you coming? Where? Not a bus, it's a bus.
Come on, will you? Goodness, come on. Come on, Malou. Come on. They come in. You know I'll leave you. You know, brothers, right? Brothers, never leave brothers. Come on, come on, me. Come on. This is big up. Come on. Come on. They come in. They come in. Huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fucking get it, Get it, Get it, Get it, be happy. I'll be happy. Get it, Get it, I'll be happy. 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 I'd be happy, I'd be happy. You know, why don't you drink? Man, fucking bread, fucking bread all the time, man. The world, the world, listen, we got mushroom pig in the mud, right? Mushroom pig. You know, you're fucking, what do you call them? Magic mushroom, right? Come on, man. man. How are you feeling, Tex? How are you? All right. Mm -hmm. Me? Listen now, when we started filming, you had every intention of going to the hospital or getting help, didn't you? And the problem we've got now is very simple. You and your mate are going to end up breaking the law, aren't you? You know. So the problem we've got as a film crew is simply enough that we can't literally help you break the law or film you breaking the law, you see. And the other thing is this, that, you know, it's very difficult for us as a crew to see you fall apart, you know. And we, we've grown to love you. I mean, Ron, the recorder, here, and Dave, the cameraman, have, we just got very, very fond of you. Why didn't you ever try? Next. We got keen on you, you old bastard. Oh, I, I don't think I could, I could bother with it, you know what I mean? You couldn't bother with it? Well, it's not any good the way you're going on now, is it? I'm just saying, Dennis, so come here, man. So, you know, how fond we've got of him and how we all believe genuinely that he might have given it a crack, you know? Well, I was hoping so myself, but uh, it doesn't look as if it's going to happen like that, does it, this time? Well, tell me the bloody truth now. When you, when you were leaving our prison gate, did you intend to having a bloody drink? You did. Why not? That's how <laughs> devious the illness is, isn't it? I mean, you can't get old, isn't it? But there's evidence that people recover, you see. We talked about this when you were in prison. We talked about it, the probation officers have talked to you about it. I know people can get better. You know, it's not that big a hassle living without a drink, you know? Particularly if you're an alcoholic and the, the alcoholic dies from drink or has a wet brain like Ivor over there. You know? I mean, you're a young fella, man. Come on, look at the way you just cracked in the last... in the last, well, 30 hours, isn't it? 30 hours. There's that piece of a bear. There's a piece of a bear, yeah. Ivor! Philip! Hello. Philip! Hey, no, you want to follow? Look, this bloke's supposed to be dead. From Honduras. Wait a minute. Good evening. Good evening, there you go. I know you go. Where's the... 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 Where's the...
Oh, dear Bernard. Well, what's happened? Back on the ring, sir, again. Again? Tell me what happened. You left here on Friday morning. You yes. weren't going to drink. You met Ivor outside. What happened then? Well, I went and had a bit of breakfast. Straight into a pub then. He was drunk. And after that, you know, so well, after Friday, I can't remember much after Friday. You can't remember much after Friday? No. My gosh, you must have done a lot. <coughs> Yeah. Well, why couldn't you have said to I that I'm not going to drink? I just couldn't. Why? I don't That's know. What actually stopped you? Can you remember the thoughts in your mind? Well, he had nothing and he was drunk. You know what I mean? I thought I'd give him a few bob. And, and then... Yeah. What did you do with it? Drunk it. And you bought something? Yeah. Yeah, I was you going to say, you, yeah. what happened to your clothes? I have no idea. So where did these come from? No. You don't know how you came to have it on? No. None at all. Just, it's yeah. just a blank. Yeah. And then you had, you were in court? Yes. Shoplifting? Yes. What was it? You stole? Can you a coat. I think it was a coat, something a like coat. that, yeah. And why you wanted a coat or was it to sell? To sell, I think, for more drink. And now you've come here, what's happened to you? What have the court done? I got a few weeks for basically in court now. Yeah. I put me into a yeah. house pasta. Yeah. I, I think that I've been thinking now drinking, all this drinking all the time. Well, it, it's, it's, it's hardly worth me living, is it? You know what I mean? Because I'm killing myself slowly. What about now? Well, you feeling clearer now? No, still shaking. Still got the shakes? Inside as well. It's not good fun no more. Not when we're losing my memory and that my vision is going. And all that's happening to you? Yeah. Have you been hallucinating this time? Yeah. Why are you being saved? Well, I've seen the spaceship again that I've seen before. Same spaceship again? Same thing again. A few spiders like, in the cells this morning. All right, Bernard, well, it's up to you. You've got a lot of thinking to do and you've got a lot more doing to do and you go out. Okay, Bernard. Yes, bye-bye now. Bye. Da <laughs> da